Hi all, so now we are going to learn how to create a repeater field with the uh, vp.template.js function. Okay, so what do we have here? I just created a simple plugin that will actually hold my JavaScript, my template and everything inside so I can show that on a page. Uh, but the code that we will write here can be used elsewhere so you can use it also for the settings page another thing here is the javascript because we are using the vp.template javascript function a templating engine of the underscores so we need to have javascript and to be able to use inside our javascript the vp template function we need to have the dependency wp util dash util as utilities and also of course jQuery because we will use jQuery here and that's it so what i'm doing here nothing too special i'm just checking if this is a post and if the content inside of that post has a short code my repeater field which i have saved it here and if I just use the blah for output, I have it here because that page has my shortcut here. Okay, and now we can move on. Now that you understand the setup. First, we need to have our classic HTML, which we will use here right and we can do that well let's let's use a divider element since that element is a block one and we can say it, let's say field group then we can use label or something like that and say enter List. and then you can also do it like that and like that and we can and you put your text domain here so it's translatable great and let's add a tag and now we can add an input which is text and then we will also use value like that and let's put a placeholder again let's make it translatable enter text text domain okay great so now since i'm outputting this as a regular html i need to start the buffer here and i also need to put all that has been buffered inside our variable output why i'm then i'm doing that because i don't want this to be echoed out and showed i'm just buffering it in the memory of our server and then i'm putting it back in the variable then if i refresh it okay we have the enter text here that's fine and let's also add a button we type a button and we'll say add, add item again your own text domain here and we can add an id let's say add item okay so we have everything here we can click on it but nothing will happen right and that's that is there's just a simple html here and it doesn't actually have anything to do with our javascript the other part is how will we form this this input so if i say let's say we have a list and which list is item list number one 
and I think this number two and something like that, right? So if I refresh it, I will get this. And that's fine, right? Nothing too special. But what we want to add text here and add with don't click edit in that list. So let's give an ID or you can even give give it class repeater list. Okay. And then we can move on with our template. So our own template will be an item template, so it will have this list item structure templates are in scripts so they are not shown in the html we can edit something like that as a type and also we'll add an id uh, when we're working with wp template the function we need to add a tmpl first and then our own our own id there like that like that and now we can write our template. And to have the name data inside of it, we need to use the data attribute and let's say data text. So we will pass text to it and they will see this data text. And with these double brackets, double curly brackets, we are actually echoing it out okay so i think we are done here let's refresh and be sure we don't have any errors great and now we can move on on the javascript part first let's make sure that jquery is also loaded what am i doing here like that okay now let's make sure that the DOM is ready for us to work on it right everything is loaded and now we can move on first we need to attach the add item button right so on click add a function Let's also prevent any default functionality. Okay, so we now have this and this. Let's refresh the page. And now once I click, I want this text to get on this item. And how do we do that? So we have this text. Let's add an ID just to to find it easier so item input okay and then let's add item input value like that and then now we can get our template here which is this so we need to use that one but remember that this is already inside that template we can name it template and then dp template and use this now if i console log the template refresh something is wrong like that let's refresh okay so we got something here and now to get the html we need to get this template and call it as a function and then push the data inside as an object so we are using the text and we will press the txt and let's now see what will happen with the html nothing if i add something it will have something great so now we have that and the last thing is the repeater field and we can then use this append html save it 
refresh it we got twice of them because probably I have included the item great let's refresh it again and that's it so now we can remove the basic one here have an empty build here and let's now like this item 2 okay and we can add them now up but what if we want to remove them what's then well let's have a button here with type button with the class remove list item and just place an x here just like that and if we refresh and we add them here we'll get a button here and uh, let's see if we can also place a class small to get a smaller one no maybe excess no nope. never mind let's let's just style it as we want to so we'll add this and add the style here well since it's a simple one we can do it uh, as an inline style like that and then let's say font size 10 pixels let's now see great okay leave it as that and we can even add a simple space of 10 pixels great okay and what do we what I also want to do is for each list item in the repeater field add simple paddings of 5 pixels on top and button just like that, like that, like that, great and now we can also do the removal and that will be a simple one so what are, should we do it that way? Mm, we shouldn't because we have the dynamic list with which can add an x amount of these elements and since if we do it like this we are then applying the event on all those items that exist but if we add another one that that function won't be triggered so we need to add the trigger on the document and once there on the document we say on click but then we'll define the, e, the target of that click and then we can always have we can have as many as we want and dynamically edit because JavaScript will always run this click on the document and check the target let's also add the prevention and then simple as this we can just use this parent since the parent is a list item and uh, just remove save it let's refresh it item one item two and let's delete item two great now we have also deleted them and we can also add them and delete them as you want and that's it simple as that you have a repeater field a repeater item with the simple VP template done.